This is the world's fastest League of Legends game. I have three different games to show you and each game is going to be quicker than the last until we get to the quickest League of Legends game of all time, so make sure you stick around until the end. Alright, so the first game we're going to check out is IG versus SKT. This is back when IG were world champions and SKT were kind of the undisputed champion just because they had won the most worlds before. Straight up, there's a level 1 massive fire. Looks like SKT are winning at the start and this is the fastest pro game of all time. Haha, <laughs> Rise TV'd back in. Oh no, Faker. Literally two minutes minutes into the game, Faker has died. There's three kills already in a two minute and 30 second game in pro play. There's about to be four. Oh, do you remember Sona Tarek bot lane? It still blows my mind that this is literally pro play. This looks like my platinum solo queue games. Four minutes and 30 seconds into the game, there's already six kills and there's another fight in mid. Poor Faker is just getting 3v1. Oh my, Draven is just so fed. Wait, the game got paused. I think the Rift made these kind of games possible. Like, it wouldn't be able to speed run a game like this without Rift Herald. Alright, Faker's got the flank. Oh, dude, poor Faker. Oh, okay, never mind. He gets the kill. I was going to say he's not doing any damage. This is actually a pretty even fight, like, given the gold difference. Okay, obviously Draven's gonna come in and clean up shot, but that was not a bad fight considering how bad they are down. That's actually a really good point. Supers are, like, not a huge deal, but at 15 minutes, you're not gonna be able to clear them. That was a very brave Lee Sin ult. Oh, that was a sick stun. This is not too bad of a fight for SKT, but never mind. Draven is just way too strong. Oh my god. Is this where they end? So the fastest game before this was 20 minutes and 21 seconds. They're way ahead of the record. They're just going for the end now. They're going to end before 16 minutes. 15 minutes and 57 seconds in, like, this isn't even Challenger Series either. This is two of the best teams in the world. All right, let's move on to the second fastest game. All right, this is the second fastest game of all time. They end up winning this game in under eight minutes. And dude, look at this old league. I miss it. I literally miss the old map so much. If you guys are enjoying this video, by the way, please do consider subscribing. It only takes about two seconds and you can change mine any time. All right, they're about to pick up the first kill of the game already. Oh, this is back when Aatrox had his revive passive. I remember that. Now, obviously, this is not a typical strategy. Strategy. This is actually a real game and the, like the other team is fighting back and trying to stop them You can see they're all running TP. They're all running heal so they can TP onto the minions on the tower So they don't take any damage and they can get the first tower super quickly I love how it's obvious what they're trying to do But the other team is just not responding at all like Aatrox is just running to mid lane Quinn and Karma are just farming bot lane like nothing is happening with that being said though Like I don't know if I would know what to do if I saw this in an actual game It's under four minutes and they're already smacking the inhibitor turret. No one's moving yet no one no one's moved all right nidalee's here nidalee's just decided it's time to 1v5 <laughs> they're just ignoring the nidalee and going straight for the tower now they're gonna kill him i think that the tower is dead oh my god that was so quick and obviously the team is old pantheon lee sin blitzcrank must ye fiora all pretty strong early game champions especially blitzcrank into like an uncoordinated team and you're just trying to end the game as fast as possible four minutes 30 the inhibitor's already down i don't think they're gonna be able to take this turret though Okay, they get a kill, and a couple of them are going to drop to the tower. This Pantheon's just running for his life. The Elise Flash is gone. Wow, he actually got the kill. And then obviously Pantheon's ult lets him get back into the fight as well when he hits 6, which is actually pretty smart. I don't know if the game even lasts long enough for him to hit level 6 though. I guess we'll find out. Looks like Aatrox is moving up. He's finally going to join the team. Quinn and Karma still farming in bot lane. All right, we're getting very close to the record here. It has to be ended in under eight minutes. So I think they're going to have to end it on this push. They are taking a lot of damage though. That's one tower down. Let's see what Pantheon can do. Oh, he's going to get a Penta. Dude, old Pantheon used to be so disgusting. He's just going to kill this Nidalee. He's going to get a Penta. 
Oh my god. Alright, can I end it here? <laughs> He's just gonna drop his ult on the Nexus. Pantheon goes down, they've got one minute to end the game. Alright, Pantheon TPing back into the Nexus. It looks like they're gonna end it right here. Seven minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, it's actually really close. They're trying so hard to kill them all. All right, there we go. The Nexus goes down. Seven minutes and 51 seconds. All right, the honorable mention before number one, this is five speedrunners. They literally dedicate their time to speedrunning League of Legends. The reason this is honorable mention and not the number one spot is because this is against intro bot. It's not against actual players. Straight off the bat, this strategy is just to go straight bottom and smack the tower. This is actually a really good team comp for this. They have Heimerdinger for the turrets. They have Olaf who can take take some damage to activate his passive, Jarvan who can drop his flag to make everyone attack quicker, they have Ziggs who can chuck his satchel on tower, and they also have Jax. I don't know who'd be quicker between Jax or maybe like Tristana or something because she can chuck her satchel on the tower as well. They're all running Demolish as well and you can see they're inside the base in just about 5 minutes which is super fast. So good job to these guys, they set the speed running world record for 5v5 against bots. I guess that's its own separate category. 5 minutes 34 on the clock. Alright, now we've got the quickest League of Legends game of all time. This game was over in 3 minutes and 21 seconds. It's a full AD team comp including Trista. Oh my god, look at that old Tristana splasher. Olaf, J4, Tristana, and Warwick. Now, I don't know if this could be considered legit because we have the other team purposely feeding kills to Warwick and the other champions, but nevertheless this is by far the quickest League of Legends game of all time, so we're gonna check it out anyway. I'm sure you're all familiar with the TP strat by now. TP to the minions so that the tower can't kill them as quickly. Oh my god, do you guys remember mana pots? Look at that. That just unlocked a memory in my head. This is back when Warwick gave everyone an attack speed buff, so I guess that kind of makes sense. The J4 flag, the Warwick attack speed buff, Tristana can chuck her satchel on the tower. This is back when inhibitor turrets had the laser as well. Do you guys reckon it would be easier with the laser or with the tower shots to speed run? Like, I wonder if this could be improved on with everything in the game these days. They literally just push straight down the middle to the Nexus. Obviously, the other team is not trying to stop them, but they do manage to close it out in 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Even though this is staged, I I think it's kind of impressive nonetheless. Here you can see the times they got everything in. Outer turret 207, inner turret 221, inhibitor turret 237, first inhib down at 247, nexus turret 1 and 2 both go on by 313 and the nexus at 321. Look, although if we're giving out awards, honestly, I'm gonna have to give this one to IG. They they pulled this off against SKT. The amount of skill that it takes to just like take down a world-class team in that amount of time is honestly insane. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Catch you in the next one. Bye!